The FirstNet network, when we first started in 2017, was focused on fourth generation, long-term evolution technology in the wireless broadband space. Now we're moving into the phase related to 5G full standalone capability, not only with our core network, but also our radio access network and upgrading all of the band 14 LTE to the 5G new radio waveforms. We look forward to continuing to build out a new 5G network, take advantage of the promise of new 5G technologies that could benefit public safety operations specifically, to deploy new mission critical services and capabilities to enhance the ones we have. And with that will come an advanced state-of-the-art foundational network built on the latest technologies that will really allow us to be that fast follower in some areas where you see commercial services deployed, but it also gives us the opportunity to customize and tailor solutions specific for public safety needs. We will be adding priority and preemption, just like we have on the 4G LTE, on all of the 5G bands in this 5G standalone environment, as well as upgrading and enhancing our core network to take advantage of the full 5G standalone capabilities. A critical evolution in a 5G network is the ability to distribute the core or the computer at the heart of the network. Now you're gonna see these cores of the network moving closer to the edge or closer to the end user, which is gonna help us with reliability and redundancy in the network. Another expansive opportunity coming for public safety in 5G is the ability to support massive IoT or the Internet of Things. This is going to allow first responders to take advantage of all sorts of sensors, cameras, and other technologies that are not necessarily the smartphones we're used to, but that are critical to their public safety operations. One of the most important innovations coming for public safety in 5G is something called low latency, which means these networks will be able to get even closer to true real-time communications transmissions. This will be incredibly important for first responders in things like telemedicine, drone cameras, and body-worn cameras. There are already areas in the country where the capacity of the users has exceeded what a 4G network can provide. Moving public safety to a 5G network is gonna give them all that extra headspace, making sure they have the capacity for all the different data needs that they will have operationally going forward. Having a dedicated public safety network is important to first responders because the world is moving towards data and it's true in every realm. Without an entity like FirstNet, we're not going to be able to deliver the services to the public that we want to without having a connection to the internet. The fundamental gain of a 5G network truly is capacity. These networks are gonna be able to hold a tremendous amount of information that moves not only between first responders, but between those they need to communicate with as well. This will be a massive expansion beyond what even a 4G network today can provide.